what we wanted to do. Bob tried to teach me to play. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is what you failed. Look. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah get, get on this mic. It's, it hasn't been that strong today. You know, give it some. Basically, yelling into it almost. You know, really incredible. Yes, I'm, 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 just, yeah. I, I'm not even awake yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, though. Keeping kind of air going throughout the whole thing. Whenever we're around, he usually gets a little bit. Yeah. Fuck it, we gotta be here at 4 o'clock. Hey, you know, come on, we're five times. Drive time. This is a rock and roll band. Drive time. I got up at 6 a.m. I'm not in a rock band, but I got up at 6 a.m. I was up at 6 a.m. <laughs> See, I, I got up. Uh, are, are we going? Okay. Is there something about recording this? Song? Well, uh, we're recording back in the studio back home. Oh, cool. And then we're just running it after. How you doing, man? I'm all good, man. How you doing? I'm great. Thanks for uh, thanks for flying us all the way down here. That's some good of you. Thanks for coming all the way down here. Uh, you're welcome. I got up this, about when you went to bed, so this is you're kind of rolling out of bed just to do this for us. So, <laughs> and and we rolled out of bed in, in New Orleans today, so we've already traveled a little bit. Oh, so you've done some traveling today. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been uh, we had a day off yesterday in New Orleans and. So we flew in uh, just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you guys hang out together on the, the days off, or do you need a break? Like, um, yeah. Actually, I, 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 I spent some time with Rob yesterday, yeah? Um, we do a lot of our days off are kind of each our own kind of sacred time. Um, so we all kind of do our own. Like James, I think, went to Dallas yesterday. And I've been going up to New York a lot. Um, but yesterday I stayed in New Orleans. I got some friends there and um, kind of hung out. And I saw Rob at the, I was laying out in the corridor of the hotel at 3 o'clock this morning making a phone call. Keyword laying. And the Rob walked by and he came in and joined the festivities in room 1011. And, <laughs> so that's where the party was. For, for a couple now. hours, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what's, uh, what would you say that, and this is not really funny anymore, but... They're, you guys are so you're 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 some kind of monster. See what I did? Just like that. <laughs> but you guys are just so huge. Do you, do you think it's possible for a band to become in, in the kind of the the way that things are now? They're so fragmented and watered down. Do you think it, there's a band could be as big as you guys are again, or do you think that kind of thing is over? Do you think that's going to happen? Because I don't think it's going to happen anymore. I think you guys are kind of like the last Led Zeppelin, Beatles, Sabbath kind of band. I don't think there's going to be anymore. Well, first of all, thank you, because I think there's a compliment in there. No, I appreciate yeah. that. Okay. Um, you know what? That's a great question. I don't think I've ever been asked that before. Um, nice. Uh, well, obviously, it is, it, I mean, obviously things are different um, than they were. Uh, well, it's just, it's just yeah. a lot of bands. Like, there's so many bands and so many record labels. Yeah, I mean, I think that it, in, in some way that, you know, bands are, are maybe becoming... You know, it's interesting because obviously, as you're aware of, you know, rock, hard rock, I mean, you know, there's a station here in Houston that just shut down yeah, a couple of days ago, KLOL. Uh, the, the main kind of hard rock station out in San Francisco called KSJO just uh, closed about two weeks ago and, and you know it, it's tough um, obviously I like to think that it comes and goes in waves and, and maybe I think that um, that right now the kind of hard rock stuff I mean I hopefully at least in my own selfishness I'd like to think that we're immune from because we kind of exist in our own little world but I, maybe you're right that's a, that's a great question I mean maybe bands just don't become that big anymore also maybe because it's uh, you know there's a lot more solo artists and you know maybe the people that really become that big like your M&Ms and stuff like that yeah, are more doing it you know more you know solo artists I don't know it's a great question maybe that is what it is you want to be tall to me I remember him complaining about that picture yeah. In my hair! That's a pyro Pete. That's Ian oh, Kinsley. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. There's a lot of people gone on to do some good stuff. I'm a priest to yeah. manager for it's Danny Murphy. Pete Russell. He's a weird ass manager at SSE. 
Jesus. Was he helping you, or what was he doing? Not a lot, no. <laughs> no, what was he doing then? Uh, I, what was he doing then? He was on the PA crew. Okay. I remember he had that jacket and we fucking burnt it. He was, <laughs> he was in the right state. I'm oh, sorry. No, really doing, good. Yeah, he was doing it and he was doing it. And then we got rid of Pete. Yeah, me and Sarge were... That's the only one I found with the band, actually. What, that one now? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's off um, Damaged Ink, isn't it's it? It's the same that tour program. That's you same know, it's really funny, because that's how they were telling today. There was a kid sitting out there with their programs. I was going, I was looking for one of them. He's got a kid going. Thank you, bye. Out of all the programs, he had that one. Because I was saying to you that yeah. I got the pictures in of Mick. Isn't the one in the room in this, though, of Snyder, when you're all in the room, piled on top of each other? Snyder's in the room as well, and Drain's on it as well, on that same program. Yeah. Some cracking pictures on there, though. John Bon Jovi. Oh, it's Paul with hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Rory, boy. He's a nice one. Well, Rory, guys. Right 20 years, everybody. Yeah! Yeah! Another one under there. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tattoos I kind of got in my desk. I credit you though. I credit you. Huh? I credit you too though. I don't. That's... I don't say it was my idea or anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, my name's Eric Mexker. Been loving Metallica shit since since I can remember. Always been a real big influence on me as a as individual and uh, just loved them so much that I had I had to do something to express myself. So what I did is I decided to go ahead and get all the album covers tattooed on my back like one of their concert shirt shows so I uh, decided to do it one night went down there got with a uh, local tattooist Connor Texas uh, named Jason Pruitt and and we sat down and we drew it out and knocked it out and the finished product uh, got a little bit left to do but it's gonna it's gonna be nice it's gonna be real nice so when did you get your first uh, Metallica tattoo how long ago was that actually this is my only and first tattoo and I started in March 13th on my birthday. I said, all right, let's go do it, and sat down, and it's my first and only tattoo, and when he hit me with that needle for the first time, I tell you what, it's, it's liberating. It'll, uh, it'll make you think about it. 